Hello, my name is Alex. I'm a professional music producer and composer, and today I want to react to the music of Guilty Gear Strive. It's a game I have never played in my life, but I am seeing Maximilian dude get hyped about it immensely, and that guy has a very good taste with video games, so I chose to listen to the music, and if I'm gonna be impressed, then I'm gonna play it. The track Smell of the Game is the most requested track over at my Patreon page, where you can request any video game analysis, so I chose to go with this one. Interesting guitars. Okay. I already get what type of player this game's gonna be. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is very interesting. I think the, the composer for this track was the creator of the game. That's Kishi Watari. This sort of like guitar sound with harmonics and stuff reminds me of Otherworld from Final Fantasy. Holy shit! What? <laughs> There's so much virtuosism happening and this guy is like, you know, rocking like he doesn't give a shit. And yeah, he's the creator of this game, so in this case, it's a composer that can create whatever music he wants because he doesn't have to appease anybody. That's pretty cool. That is bullshit blazing, yeah. still my heart yeah. is blazing. If the <laughs> oh, shit. Me, I don't need a new one you. Wow. Soon you will know. Wow. We you know the smell of the game. Okay, there's, I love the way the guy is singing, like, you know, it's kind of like a bit blurred and a bit like he doesn't really care about getting a perfect sound. He's just like, blah, 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 you know, on the microphone. That's kind of why I say it. <laughs> it sounds like I don't give a fuck, you know, just rocking heavily. You know, it's like, wow, so much power, so much attitude. The singer is not like not good because of this. Yeah, you might hear this and you're like, yeah, everybody can sing this way. No. No, because like, to bring this level of energy and still make the track sound musical is not easy at all. Hey, this is Alex from the future. I tried re-recording these vocals to show you how they were made, but you should know. The original singer is 10 times more talented than me. He used some proper recording studio gear and he has a lot of growl in his voice. But anyway, when we listen to Smell of the Game, this is what you hear. If the words kill me, I don't need a new world out of you. Soon you will know. That is the main vocal, but th the reason why this sounds huge is that there's many. So underneath that, we have another one for harmonization. If the words kill me, I don't need a new world out of you. And then even lower one, we have a more like demonic raspy voice. Blazing, still my heart is blazing. And lastly, there's another vocal that is marking the most important piece of this chorus, which is like... New world out of when you put all of them together, this is what you get. That is bullshit blazing, still my heart is blazing. If the words kill me, I don't need a new world out of you. Soon you will know, we are ready. You know the smell of the game. Again, this is just to show you how they're made. This is the clean version. The real singer sings this 10 times better with distortion in his voice. When you sing with distortion, is when you have a bit of like, you know, rage in your voice like that, that makes everything even more powerful. And it's hard to sing with distortion while also nailing a melody and staying in tune. So he's very good at that. These sort of vocals also remind me of a more savage version, probably of Kill Switch Engage. You know, that's uh, some really freaking great stuff. Oh, the smell of <laughs> Damn. The thing I love a lot about this guitar riff is how bipolar it sounds. It's like one of those K-Mac meme videos. It's kind of like, you know, it starts like this happy go lucky vibe, but then. I love that. There is a certain like youthfulness and joy kinda in this song. Even though it's very fucking aggressive, a very interesting dichotomy here. I was What? Whoa! What the fuck is going on? That's a very interesting chord progression right there. What what is the harmony doing? What the fuck? You know? You're like, what 
the fuck is this? You know, as I said before, this singer is very good and this is freaking the confirmation. This right here sounds like Jacob Collier. This kind of change between the mood. It would be way more apparent if we could vocalize it. This is very, very uncommon in mainstream music. Once again, leave it to video game music to blow us away with this musically nerdy, uh, wonderful emotions. Oops, what is, what is this? Man, that bass so fucking nasty. Whoa! Whoa! Are you fucking? What? What is going on, guys? No! Holy shit! Rock music goes Jacob Collier, then goes freaking Bohemian Rhapsody, existentialism, and whatever like philosophical lyrics. And man, that the what the fuck is this? Okay, I get it. Haken. Hey, this is what I, I was like, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of freaking Haken even more than Bohemian Rhapsody himself. There's a track called Visions or Vision from Haken. Check it out. It's a freaking astral journey and it kind of gives me the same vibes as this one. <laughs> This is fucking crazy. Like the freaking harmonization there. They did such a great job at saving these moments just for very small bits, you know? Because the rest of the song, especially like, you know, the rock heavy aggressive parts. Th those parts of the song are kind of in monochrome. They're kind of like very like aggressive, but kind of monotonic to me, you know, in a way. But then you have these passages, every so and so, that are so fucking colorful and that they, they hit so hard, especially because of the contrast with the rest that comes before. So in this song, we kind of have everything we want. We have the energy, we have the aggressive vibes, we have the wholesome vibes, we have some parts that are kind of sad and they hit hard because of it. Because they, like in the context of everything they came before, it's like, oh, the day was sunny and then there's now clouds and thunderstorms and stuff. And then there's like this freaking beautiful, like vocal harmonic passages that are like seeing the rainbow after the, the thunderstorm or something. And you have kind of everything. I suppose that's why this song has millions of views on YouTube. It's a freaking journey. I loved it. I did not expect it to be this cool. And if this is the level of music we're talking about, I suppose I'm gonna enjoy this game very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.